You can use Zara's Extrude tool to create all kinds of powerful effects. It's great not only for superhero type graphics, but dig a little deeper and you'll see just what a versatile tool it can be. So for starters, take this 2D text. Now select the Extrude tool and drag on the face of the text to rotate it in 3D. Move round to the side and you'll see the mouse pointer change to indicate that I can change the depth of the extrude just by dragging it like this. You can change colour by dragging a colour from the colour line. And you can adjust the reflective properties of the object by using the Show Lights function up here on the info bar. Turn the lights on and you'll see three arrows which you can drag around to alter the lighting of the object. You can alter the colour of the lights by dragging colours from the colour line or else using the colour editor. Bring up the editor by double clicking on one of the arrows and up comes the editor, giving you precise control over the colour. You can also use the gloss or matte button to toggle between a highly reflective gloss effect or a non-reflective matte effect. If you prefer to enter exact values for the light angles or extrude depth, then you can use the drop-down list and slider and value field up on the info bar here. Another thing you can do is change the bevel shape, which is the shape of the extruded side. By default it's set to be rounded, but up here on the info bar you can see a large range of possible shapes, and again you can alter the size of the shape using the slider or numeric field. If I leave the 3D tool, I can still edit the attributes of my text, so for example, I can change the font. There are limits however, for example, I can no longer edit a shape or add to my text, but what I can do is click on the extrude button here to switch back to my original shape or text, edit it and then reapply my extrusion. With a bit of imagination, it's possible to create some truly impressive effects using the extrude tool. Take a look at this artwork from Rick Data's Zara Zone tutorial to see the kinds of things that are possible. All these components are created with the Extrude tool.